What's up everyone? This is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. I want to wish everyone a very happy new year on this last day of 2017. Check out my other video that I did around the same exact time, December 31st, 2016. And the I had a lot of uh, great feedback from that video. It really inspired a lot of people. So I wanted to make another one. Talk about um, you know reaching your goals in 2018. Um, a lot of people know my story, or if you're unfamiliar about my path to medicine and I, how I had to apply three times to medical school before I got accepted, and. Um, I had to face failures each each of those years and it was, it was it was really hard to accept those failures because a lot of my family members were um, they, they were waiting on me to reach my goals because I, I told everyone I wanted to go to medical school and then I applied and didn't get and then got rejected and I had to explain to them that um, I wouldn't be starting medical school so in 2018 I, I, I want to leave you guys three tips for you guys. Number one is to believe in yourself. There's going to be no one out there that's going to believe in you more than you are going to believe in yourself. It has to come from deep down inside and you have to really believe that you can reach your goal and that your goal is attainable. Um, whatever that goal is, whether that's opening your own business, whether that's uh, investing in real estate, paying off your debt, getting out of school loans, we're gonna snap for that. Um, whatever it is that you want to achieve, you have to believe it because if you start believing other people's negative connotations or the naysayers or the haters, you're never gonna get it because deep down inside, you believe that you won't be able to reach it, you won't be able to obtain it. So you have to believe in yourself Keep telling yourself that you can do it even when times get hard, even when you struggle, even when you 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 reach a class that you don't think is attainable or a grade that you don't think is obtainable. Uh, chemistry class, organic chemistry. I struggled in organic chem chemistry. I struggled in several classes in college, but I kept going. You have to keep telling yourself, write it down, put it on your mirrors, put it on your uh, the refrigerator, anything that you see or go to a lot throughout the day, put it on the screensaver of your phone. You have to keep telling yourself that you can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I will make it. I will reach this goal. I will do it. And you eventually will. Number two is to always give 110%. I meet a lot of people who say they want to go into medicine. They want to be a doctor. They want to be a teacher. They want to be a lawyer. They want to become a millionaire. But they never put in the time. They never put in the effort. You have to put in 110%. That's just like someone saying that they want to go to the NBA, but they only practice basketball on a weekend for like two hours. It doesn't work that way. But someone who wants to invest in real estate, but they never read real estate books. Someone who wants to be a lawyer but they have never put in the effort, the time to be able to reach that goal. If you want to be anything in life, if you want to be a doctor, you got to put in the time. You got to put in the hours. You got to put in the. You got. You got to be a hundred and ten percent. Um, no half-assing. No sleeping in till ten o'clock in the morning. No going out with your your friends on the weekend to party in the. Um, popping bottles at the clubs yes there's times for that but if you want to reach your goals you have to put in the time you have to put in the effort you have to put in 110 percent so the what i did was if my classmates were reading a chapter in college or in medical school one time i would read that same chapter four times outworking the person right next to you if you put in that much effort and that much time uh, to reaching your goals, you will reach them. Number three is to never give up. I am a prime example of what can happen if you stay persistent. One of my professors in medical school said that failure is not in the falling down, it's in the failure to get back up and try again. 
you're going to be faced with failures. You're going to have hard classes. Your counselors are going to tell you that you can't do it. Your parents are going to doubt you. You're like, why are you, 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 you are going to school for this long? Your friends are going to call you names because you don't want to go out on the weekend, but you need to hit the books. But you know what? I had all of those same things happen to me. I had friends that I've lost along the way. Friends called me demeaning words uh, because I didn't want to go out and I wanted to study. Counselors telling me that I should choose another major. Family members who said that why am I going to school for so long? They told me the exact same things. But what you need to understand is that you will be faced with these failures and you have to be prepared for them. So what I did was each failure that I faced in my life, I analyzed each failure and asked myself, what can I do so this doesn't happen again? Or what can I do to improve them in, in the future? If you approach each failure that way, you're more likely to be successful. And I'm a prime example of that. So number one is to believe in yourself. Number two is to give 110% and number three is to never give up. This is Dr. Webb. Happy New Year's to you guys. 2018 is going to be a blessed and prosperous year for all of you guys. Um, I look forward to sharing some of that success with you. Put in the time, put in the effort, and you'll be able to reach your goals also. Thank you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'll see you next time.